Today is my birthday, and I love my birthday. I get the day off to enjoy a beautiful sunny day. Unfortunately, this year I'm 38 now, which is, you know, it's a year, it kind of hits me a little bit this year. Last year wasn't so bad, but I feel a little older this year, especially uh, after getting back into the gym and feeling a little sore. Now, normally I would go hiking on a day like today, but I hit the gym really hard this week, and so my hamstrings and my butt from all the squats are a little sore so uh, I'm gonna take it easy instead I'm gonna ride downtown to the new place do some shopping try to get my internet set up I gotta go to the bank and try to take care of some issue with the way they spell my name here in China Chinese names they have their surnames first and their given names last and I think that's how they put my name into their computer or some kind of combination of my middle first and last names so uh, I have to go square that away with the bank because I'm unable to set up my bank card through my WeChat account, which is gonna be a problem because that's how I need to pay my utilities and my rent and all. So I'm gonna go take care of that. And then later on tonight, after doing some cleaning and things like that, I'm going to uh, hit up some dinner with uh, a friend uh, and then maybe some late night beers after that. So this hopefully will be my first night actually staying in the new place if the water situation is been taken care of. They, the owners emailed me and told me it's all been fixed. She said that before. She's very sweet. She said that before, but we'll see. I mean, this third, hopefully third time's the charm. So I got a lot of bags packed, bringing some stuff down with me, and uh, spend a day with my bike uh, around town, uh, head up some Walmart. <laughs> to be honest with you, some of the things that uh, Americans are accustomed to on a daily basis, such as, you know, some cleaning products and some, um, you know, even something like Drano is, is difficult to find uh, in, uh, in Chinese stores. So at Walmart, you can find these items. And so I'm gonna hit up some Walmart today as well. This is the main highway that goes to and from Shichi to Shaolin. It's about a 30 kilometer ride. And it takes uh, well, about an hour or so. As you can see, I share the road with a lot of big trucks and cars. For the most part, the right-hand lane is used for motorbikes and uh, and e-bikes like me. Uh, but we still have to share the road, and it's still rather dangerous, so you have to be on the lookout. And of course, these intersections here, you have a, a flyover for the, uh, the pass-throughs, and then we go through these intersections. Um, it's too dangerous to go on the flyover on my e-bike, so uh, I just brave the, the red lights, and I got a green one on this one. So drama continues. I came back in the water again, <laughs> but uh, they know what's wrong with it. They know that there's a pipe leak somewhere probably on the bottom and the floorboards. Not in my apartment, just outside the apartment. So when I said, okay, come turn on the water, maintenance guy came up with a bunch of like wet floor signs knowing that it was going to flood turned on the water and then walked away i wonder if they're ever going to fix it or am i just going to have a puddle of water out in front of my apartment forever who knows they know about the problem uh, i'll give them to the end of the day to like address it in some way but they've got to rip up the tile and see what's going on in those pipes down below uh, they seem unwilling to start that work I'm at the bank now trying to get this fixed. Uh, banks here can get crowded, so you just get a number and wait in line. Uh, the lady that normally helps me in wealth management, uh, she's on maternity leave, so there's no one here that speaks English. But uh, this should be a simple fix, so I'm not that concerned. Ooh, it is hot out here, but uh, everything worked out great. Um, the lady knew exactly what I needed to do, just needed to upgrade my passport information because I got the new passport and uh, confirm it, got it linked. It's really cool. It's similar to Apple Pay, but it's WeChat Pay. So you just link your bank card and you can send an unlimited amount of money, almost, I think it's fee free to anyone. So you can pay your rent, your utilities, you can buy food, you can scan QR codes, buy movie tickets, everything through WeChat. It really is a super app. It's unlike anything we have back in the West. Tencent owns WeChat and Tencent has really revolutionized electronic payments and and a digital world. So now that I'm linked up with my bank card, 
before I would just pay cash when I go out to dinner with friends and and then I would you know they would send me WeChat money and but then I would run out so I'd say hey everyone does anybody have any uh, any uh, WeChat money they can send me and I'll give you cash because that's how I buy my movie tickets and stuff so but now I'm all set up I'm linked up so I can actually pay my landlord and all my utilities and everything so I'm excited about that check that out Google AdWords. Who says Google isn't in China? Like I think this whole building is Google. You see, this is another thing I love about Suchi. I mean, this is a major road, and all along the major roads, you have these beautiful bike paths for the e-bikes and you know just walking, and they're tree covered, so it's much safer and much more serene. You just kind of cruise. It's very nice. It's a 3D spinning. <laughs> So, like an idiot, I left all my new bedding for my bed uh, up in Shalat. And rather than go buying new bedding and even a sleeping bag, I just decided, you know, I don't want to sleep on a hard bed with a sleeping bag tonight. I'd rather have a room. So, right next door to my new apartment is the Tilgao Business Hotel. And I've stayed here before in a big room. Um, and it's, uh, it's a nice place. It's clean, it's friendly, it's, um, it's okay. Uh, but this one, I just needed a place to sleep since my apartment's right next door. And I'm going to be working and cleaning. Yet I'm going out to dinner tonight. So I didn't want to sleep um, in an apartment uh, without any bed, bedding, no sheets or blankets or anything. So I checked into the Tugao. Now, I'm paying maybe about 150 RMB for the night. And check out how small this room is. It's ridiculous. Look how tiny this room is. It's basically a hallway, but one cool thing is that bed is super soft. So I'm gonna have a good night's rest and then check out the bathroom. It's one of these like wet toilets. Very cool. You know, it, it's, <laughs> I'm not impressing anybody with this one, but, and it is tiny, but it'll do just fine, I think. The room is like on this weird little outcrop building. It's got a vending machine, kind of Japanese style really. In fact, some of these rooms are Japanese style. But you can see there's just a million of them on this one little floor. But it is very clean, so I kind of like it. I kind of dig it. It's just a place to sleep. I mean, I'm not going to be doing work or anything. I'm literally just coming here right after dinner, crashing and then heading back up to Shaolin. So it works. Last time I stayed here, I stayed in one of these rooms on the second floor and down this hallway there's like three different restaurants, Japanese restaurant and a, a Chinese restaurant. There's even a little spa too. Uh, you want me to powder your face? <laughs> That was a fun night. Uh, good birthday. You know, steak dinner, beautiful people, and beers with the guys afterwards. Uh, had a good time. So, 38. It's a good year. Do feel a little old, but, uh, you know, not a bad way to spend your birthday in China, right? So, I'm happy. Now I'm gonna go have a great night's rest at the Tugao. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going. 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 Yeah, I'm going.
You know, sometimes you run into some bad luck. The Tuga is a nice hotel considering the location. It's actually very comfortable. But last night, my neighbor uh, had a fight with his girl, and his girl kicked him out into the hallway about 4 a.m. naked. So he's pounding on the door, begging to get back in. <laughs> I wish I had video of it. It's quite a sight to see, actually. <laughs> oh well, don't fight with your girlfriend at 4 o'clock in the morning in a hotel. Ha <laughs> ha.